Hello, I am Pastor Carlos King, Pastor of First Assembly of God of Richmond, Indiana, and this is Five Minutes with Pastor King. I'd like to ask for just five minutes of your time uh, today. We've been looking at John 3, 16 and 17, some of my favorite scriptures. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And I believe that verse uh, 17 should be memorized right along with it. For God did not send his Son into the world, condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And we talked about the fact that the motivation of God sending Jesus Christ was to demonstrate his love for us how uh, God could not send anything greater or better than his own son. We talked about the fact that uh, Jesus, when he died on the cross, uh, his blood took away the sin of the world. As, it, as John the Baptist said in John 1, 29, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Also, 1 John, the second chapter, the second verse, For he himself is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but for the sins of the whole world. And propitiation means the payment. So Jesus Christ is the payment for all of our sin. Now, you often hear people say, How does a loving God send people to hell? Well, first of all, God has done everything necessary for you not to go to hell. Jesus has already paid the price, the full price for all your sin. All you have to do is believe it. You see, I believe that mankind is headed to hell. You know, hell was created for Satan and all of his demons and all those who are not, uh, who are not of God, all those who are not holy as God is holy, uh, are going to be condemned to hell because it's, it's automatic. And so what happens is, it's much like, you know, if you were on the Titanic and the ship went down and you're out there in the water and a lifeboat comes by and that lifeboat is Jesus Christ. You know, you have a choice either to climb in the lifeboat and be saved or stay in the water and die of hypothermia and drown. And it's the same for humanity. Jesus Christ is our only lifeboat. He is the only way to be saved. Amen. I think that's a distinguishing mark of Christianity. And it's something that uh, is going to divide uh, liberal Christians from conservative Christians. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Well, see, I happen to believe that, that the only way to be saved is through faith, believing in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. So I want to remind you again how much God loves you. He demonstrated that love by sending Jesus Christ to die on the cross in your place. He has paid for all your sins. God does not want to condemn you. The scripture says God is not willing that any should perish, but that all would be saved. That's God's desire for you today, is that you'll accept his love. You will accept the fact that Jesus Christ paid the price for all your sins. You'll ask God to forgive you. You'll cash that check of faith, and you'll receive Jesus Christ as your Savior today. So I want to encourage you to do that today. I want to also invite you again, if you do not have a home church, First Assembly of God is in uh, Richmond, Indiana. We're at 315 National Road West. Our Sunday morning service is at 10. Our Sunday night prayer meeting is at 630. Our Sunday night service right now is at 6. And we have a Tuesday night dinner at 6 and then a Tuesday night service at 7 that includes a traditional service with my associate pastor, Billy Dennis, and a Bible study with myself. So if you do not have a home church, I invite you to visit First Assembly of God. God bless.